Pat Robertson is going to prove yet again why it's amazing that he's still on TV. Listen to his ignorance about AIDS. I'm planning to go on a mission trip to Kenya in December. I believe that God heals today, and I'm not consumed about the chance of contracting Ebola. I'm also a person who's willing to take practical precautions. However, some friends and family think that my decision to travel is foolish during this season, saying that I'm testing God and asking if I have a death wish. What do you think? I do not believe I'm being foolish, and I want to honor those around me, but I want to follow God's call on my life most of all. Do you think there are un do risks that we do not know about and the dangers are higher than perceived here in America? Um, not in Kenya. Um, you, you might get AIDS in Kenya. The people have AIDS. You got to be careful. I mean, the towels can have AIDS. Pat, it's called Google. It's called Wikipedia. We'll even correct your punk ass. You can't get AIDS from a towel. HIV is transmitted by three main routes. Sexual contact, exposure to infected body fluids or tissues, and from mother to child during pregnancy, delivery, or breastfeeding. You can't catch it through... feces, nasal secretion, saliva, sputum, sweat, tears, urine, or vomit. Only blood. So unless you're shoving your face in a towel soaked in blood, you're not going to get HIV. Again, I'm going to go back to some of the same points I made in the last segment. We were speaking about Glenn Beck's medical ignorance. This guy has a show. Why does ABC Family still do business with uh, Pat Robertson? That's the channel he plays on around me. I don't know where he plays on by you guys. I know CBN also, but is CBN his channel? It might be his channel, which would be, it's understandable why they would show him if he owns the channel, okay? But ABC Family, they should cut off ties. Why would you not cut off ties with this guy? Listen to the stuff he's saying. Not only that, but again, he always goes out there and does these, these prayers where he pretends to cure people who are sick with something. You can't do that because you're incentivizing people who might not have insurance, who are already uh, are scared of doctors, don't want to go to doctors. If you sit there and say, well, let's pray, let's uh, do some faith healing, you're incentivizing people, well, I won't go to the doctor, I don't like them anyway, it costs money and I don't trust them, I'll just sit here and faith heal with Pat Robertson and we'll watch the 700 Club and try to get better. Okay, you're seriously hurting somebody that way. It's a dangerous thing that you're doing. But they don't take any responsibility for it. I mean, compare this. Now, uh, pharmaceutical companies, I have many problems with them in this respect. How, you know, they buy the government and then the government uh, turns around and gives them special tax breaks and gives them subsidies and all this stuff. They also give uh, money to doctors and then doctors push things for off-label use and the off-label things uh, don't actually help with the problem you have. So I do, I have plenty of problems with pharmaceutical companies, but at the same time, look at how the pharmaceutical companies are treated on TV versus a, a show like Pat Robertson's or a show like Glenn Beck. Glenn Beck just came out and said, don't listen to the CDC. Don't listen to the government on Ebola. Don't On Ebola, don't listen to them. Right, because you know better. Cletus in Arkansas knows better than the guy with the degrees. Brilliant idea there, Glenn. Brilliant idea. You're really pushing a smart message. So Glenn can say that, no problem. No problem to say that on air. Pat Robertson can say that. No problem. Pat Robertson goes, there. you get AIDS from a towel. There, I said it. Fact check, schmack check. Fuck off. Okay, I'm not interested. But if you're a pharmaceutical company and you do a commercial for fucking Nasonex, side effects might include... Uh, headache, vomiting, your heart falls out of your anus, your leg breaks, your femur goes to Mexico. I mean, just all... It, they have to list everything by law because they're regulated and they view it as consumer protection. But at the same time, you have this anarchy-like system where Pat Robertson, Glenn Beck can say whatever they want. And look, I'm not asking for the government to censor them. Of course not. I'm a free speech absolutist. But the networks should say... Whoa, whoa, whoa. Like, Glenn Beck, for example, he gets most of his funding from right-wing think tanks. Okay? He's a welfare queen. His, his business is not profitable. He needs to get his money from right-wing think tanks. So, why don't the right-wing think tanks say, if you say wild shit like that again, like, we're with you on your cutting taxes and all that other stuff, but to say this, you went too far. Stop or we're cutting off your money. Why are they not doing that? Why is ABC Family not dropping Pat Robertson? I mean, it's ridiculous. It's disgusting. It's 
beyond upsetting because this is how we make the American people ignorant and there's nobody fighting back against it. You know, doctors and scientists and researchers, they're the smart guys, but they're also relatively quiet and they go about their business and they try to actually fix problems. But then you have morons like Pat Robertson and Glenn Beck spewing absolute ignorance and dangerous uh, ideologies and thought processes and nobody, you know, nobody speaks up and says, all right, these guys are kooks, these guys are ridiculous, these guys are pathetics. Fuck them. Don't believe a word they say. Listen to the experts, because again, the guys with the degrees are the ones that matter. Don't worry, if you put your face in a towel, you're not going to get AIDS.